Welcome to Component 1, Introduction to Healthcare and Public Health in the U.S., Public Health, Part 2. This is Lecture C. The component, Introduction to Healthcare in the U.S., is a survey of how healthcare and public health are organized and services are delivered in the U.S. The learning objectives for Public Health Part 2 are to give examples of and explain the general program categories of public health. Including communicable disease, chronic disease, terrorism response, and environmental public health. Discuss the activities and achievements of public health in the realm of communicable disease. Compare and contrast the different types of terrorism and the different public health responses. And describe chronic disease activities and achievements of public health and the work of public health in the realm of environmental health hazards. This lecture will discuss public health and chronic disease and environmental hazards. Infectious diseases have been largely brought under control from a combination of improved sanitation and antimicrobial therapies. But as infectious diseases have lessened in overall population importance, chronic diseases have risen. In 2014, the majority of the top 10 leading causes of mortality were chronic diseases. The top three causes were all chronic heart disease, cancer, and chronic lower respiratory diseases. This slide shows the leading causes of mortality in the U.S. in 2014. Notice the predominance of chronic diseases in this list. This listing of chronic disease topics illustrates the wide range of conditions that fall into the chronic disease category. CDC estimates that 70% of deaths in the U.S. and 86% of healthcare costs are attributable to chronic diseases. Public health's efforts at prevention are mainly focused on behavior modification. The modifiable behaviors being targeted are physical activity, nutrition, tobacco use, and alcohol consumption. With behavior modification as the public health goal, the tools selected include funding opportunities, recommendations such as best practices and guidelines. And education and informational materials for the public, practitioners, and policymakers. The World Health Organization, or WHO, has developed the Stepwise Framework to enable surveillance of chronic diseases. The framework has two stages planning and implementation. The planning stage includes three steps. Step one involves estimating the population need and advocating for action. Step two is formulating and adopting policy. Step three is identification of policy implementation steps. The implementation stage is presented in a table on the next slide. The implementation stage of the stepwise framework also has three steps effective at national and subnational population levels, as well as at the individual level. Step one, core. Includes short term interventions that can be implemented with existing resources. Step two, expanded, includes interventions that require an increase in or reallocation of resources. Step three, desirable, involves evidence based interventions which require more than the existing resources. Environmental public health is a critical component of public health and has made many notable achievements. One of the best known was the removal of lead from gasoline and house paint. Some critical functions of this branch of public health include air and water quality monitoring and education and hazardous waste management. Public health environmental topics can be categorized by their means of contact with the population, such as air, food, water, etc. Another categorization method is to organize topics by public health program. This slide and the next list public health environmental programs and topics air quality, bioterrorism agents, chemical agents, environmental hazards, food safety, hazardous substance, hazardous waste health disorders and the environment, herbicides. Hydrocarbons, laboratory measurements in people, lead, natural disasters, pesticides, smoking, tobacco use, urban planning for healthy places, 
vessel sanitation and health. Water quality. Chronic diseases and environmental hazards actually demonstrate some public health overlap. Consider the interrelatedness of smoking, asthma, and air quality. Another example of interrelatedness involves cancer, environmental hazards and exposure, and chemical agents. Communicable diseases also overlap with environmental topics. Such as the relationships between water quality and water related diseases. In fact, divisions between different facets of public health can be artificial, created for organizational purposes. The relationships between different facets of public health are often complex, as illustrated in the previous examples. This concludes Lecture C of Public Health Part 2. In summary, the importance and impact of chronic diseases is discussed. Behavior modification is considered as a remediation tool. The World Health Organization's stepwise framework is illustrated. Environmental public health topics are reviewed, including some overlap with chronic diseases. This also concludes the unit Public Health Part 2. In summary, communicable diseases were discussed in detail. Using notable examples, including smallpox and polio. Public health disease outbreak investigations were discussed, using a simplified food poisoning incident. Public health response was discussed for the four main categories of terrorism bioterrorism, agricultural terrorism, chemical terrorism, and nuclear radiation terrorism. Categorization of bioterrorism agents and the laboratory response network were discussed. The importance and impact of chronic diseases was discussed. Behavior modification was considered as a remediation tool. The World Health Organization's stepwise framework was illustrated. Environmental public health topics were reviewed, including some overlap with chronic diseases.